Hey guys, it's Mark. So today we're going to work on wheel well boxes. That basically means we're going to make boxes out of 1x2 and plywood to cover these guys in. Now I'm not sure it's completely necessary. I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos, a bunch of van conversions where they don't put anything on these and that's totally fine. But it does give us an extra place to put some insulation and some sound deadening. So I think it's worth it. Plus it'll give us some plywood, plywood face to install some of the electrical or plumbing components later. So I'm also going to try to do this. If, if you've been framing like we have, you've probably got a bucket in the garage of all sorts of scrap wood. We're going to try to use that wood for the wheel well boxes so we don't incur any more cost. So that is it. It's finally a pretty day here in Georgia. So I'm looking forward to actually getting out and doing some work. So let's get to it. So the first thing to do here is figure out what we want these things to look like. So I've got a couple scrap pieces of wood. I haven't really measured anything. I'm just going a little by eye with this. So I'm going to assume we want, I want this to follow the kind of angle of the, uh, of the wheel well. So the wheel was, it's not really a 90 degree angle. It sort of comes in like this and I'm going to follow it with the boxes. So I assume that piece is pretty good like that, about a half inch away from everything. This piece will sort of sit. Oh, right about there and this piece will sort of sit right about there so that gives us an even amount of space throughout now it's just a matter of measuring and cutting so I'm going to take this as a rough guideline then I'll go into the into the garage and kind of clean up the lines a little bit but this gives us an angle of so that's about what I had expected because I measured up from the wheel wells. We'll do that on this side as well. Now we'll just measure like I said these are, these are pretty rough measurements but I'll go ahead and I'll use these I'll clean them up a little bit um, and I'll use the saw to cut them at an angle and cut these to fit. And these will roughly have to be oh about that long. We're going to go into the shop and I will measure them a little better and cut them and we'll go from there. So while the saw is still unplugged the first thing I want to do is capture this angle that I got in the garage so I went ahead and measured and made sure this blade is at that angle 15 17 and a half degrees and I also set the table saw to this angle that way if I lose this later I at least know how to make all my cuts so now I'm going to start um, just making all the cuts that I planned ahead of time and start dry fitting them together then I'll go into the van and make sure it fits the way I want to and then build the boxes from there So I've gone ahead and cut these pieces with that angle that we measured before and I've kind of dry fit them in place and it seems to look good. It's got a decent space all around the wheel well. What I'll do is when I put vertical bracing in here, I'll put the bracing, I won't put the bracing at this edge, I'll put it in a little bit. That way if I do want to cut this edge down later to bring this a little closer to the wheel well, I can do that. But I think that's good. So now we've got to make four of these, one for the top and bottom here and one for the top and bottom on the other wheel well. So let's get cutting. So when I cut these pieces for the length, it's actually more important to me that they're all the same length. There's no specific length they have to be. This is one of those jobs where you can take a little bit of 
latitude in how you build these things, but it's important to me that these are all the same length. So I'm just going to hold them still and cut them about there. Now I've got four legs exactly the same and we'll test fit them onto the longer piece. So I've got all my wood cut. The next thing to do is start putting these in place. So I'm going to use a couple different things to attach them. I'm going to use wood glue and some clamps. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, finished nailer and I've got one and a quarter inch nails in here. So that will hold it in place. Um, and that is pretty much it. So I've got my glasses on because if something goes awry here, I want to make sure I'm protected. And what I'll do is put some glue on the edge. You see, I've already done the other end. So this has to be glued here. And that is good. I will clamp it in place. I'll make sure that you're sitting at the right angle, which it is not. And like I said, this is one of those jobs you can use a little latitude in. Nothing needs to be perfect right here. Um, so this thing, if you've ever had an accident with them, you learn to be really careful with them. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nail in from here, but I want to protect my hands, so I try to keep my hands really far away, so I brace them against this 2x6, and then I will just shoot the nails in. That's all good. I've already done this side. Now, we've got both of these done. We've got two of them. And what we've got to do is space them. So I've spaced them to, I think, 13 and a quarter inches. So if I put them 13 and a quarter inches apart, it'll make a nice uh, cage for the wheel boxes. This gives me six pieces cut completely straight so again I don't really care that it's exactly 13 and a quarter inches but I do want all six pieces to be the same so I cut them kind of as a stack to make sure they're all the same and now we'll just glue them together with some pocket hole screws So what we did there was made a little bit of a angle on the edge of the wood so I could use it as a support piece against both edges. I'll show you what I mean. So this is the result of all that. Let me see if I can get this better for better focus. There we go. So this is kind of the cage that we made out of the uh, one by two glue, some nails and pocket screws. And what we will do is we'll screw this in down here once we get some plywood on here. So the idea now is to take these two and face them with plywood and then we'll go ahead and install them and we should be good to go the wood isn't exactly all straight i think it's been bowed a little as it sat in my bucket so it doesn't sit completely flush on the ground but once we face it with the plywood 
we should be able to fix that. So we've cut the first piece. It was a little long, so I trimmed it down again. And now it looks like it fits, so we're going to nail this one in and then go ahead and cut the rest. For a wheel thing, we could always use it as a bed tray. <laughs> okay, all right. Two more pieces of wood to cut, and we'll get that attached. Well, the weather has finally warmed up in Georgia, so I can actually go out without totally freezing. And the wheel boxes are done. Check this out. So they actually came out really good. I'm happy with the way they, uh, they turned out. If you remember, this is just some scrap wood we had in the garage. One by two lumber, some pocket holes, some nails, some glue, and then Face framed it, uh, faced it with quarter inch plywood that we had lying around. And then this will sit here and get screwed into place. Probably don't want to put any um, covers on them because we want to leave it open for insulation or whatever we choose to stick in there. But they are done and we can move on to the next part of our build. So thank you for joining us. If you liked the video at all, click the like button and feel free to subscribe if you want to follow along on our entire van build process. Next time, Tanya and I will be back to start framing the bathroom, building the benches, and then some electrical work. So a lot of exciting stuff going on, and I really hope you'll join. So until then, thanks for joining.